dear students hope you all are doing well this is the question for today's video in which our task is to find out the electric field produced by each of these charged particles at the square center we know that the electric field is given by a simple equation that is e equals to kq over r square in which k is coulomb's constant q is the magnitude of the charges that are given to us and R is the distance from charged particle to that point where we have to find out the electric field. Uh, we are not given the distance from charged particle to the center of the square. So firstly, we have to work for this R square that is the distance and then we can simply substitute the values and find out the electric field. Uh, so for the, uh, to find out this distance R square, what we have to do is we can simply form a right angle triangle in our diagram apply pythagoras theorem and find out this distance so like this i can form a right angle triangle and when i will apply pythagoras theorem i will get a radical 2 but this is the complete distance we have to find out the electric field at the center means we have to have this distance as well so the distance will be a radical 2 over 2 now we have four charged particles means we have to find out the electric field four times and to find uh, this electric field we can just simply make a table like this forget it i will just explain it later uh, for a uh, charge particle one let's talk about charge particle one that is this q1 right i have substituted the values k q1 over uh, r square that is distance this distance now we need to know the uh, x component uh, what is the x component and what is the y component of this e1 that is produced by the charge q1 to find that out what i can do is assume that we have a positive charge here at the square center Q1 is also positive that is given to us here. We know that a positive charge always repel electric fields away from it. So the direction of electric field produced by this charge Q1 will be like this. Let us call E1. And uh, now I can just split it into its components. I can split it like this. This will be my first component and this will be my second component. So the angle right here is 45 degrees. How do I know that? I know that because uh, if you remember, it was a right angle triangle. So that uh, if this angle right here is 45 degrees, that this angle right here is also 45 degrees. And since this one X component is adjacent, so it will be uh, kq1 over r square cos 45 and the y component will be kq1 uh, 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 r square over sine 45 okay so this is kq1 over the value of r square and cos 45 degrees and y component will be kq1 over a radical 2 over 2 square sine 45 degrees and also uh, one more thing to notice is we have the direction of y components downward so it will be negative due to its direction uh, let us just simplify this equation so if we simplify this equation we will get 2k q1 cos 45 over a square and this will be also 2k q1 sine 45 over a square right now for charge particle q2 charge particle q2 is negative that is given to us so the electric field produced by this charge particle q2 uh, the direction of that uh, that electric field will be towards this charge particle right so our e2 will be like this now if i split it into its components i will get one component like this and the other component like this and the angle right here is 45 
so uh, now I will uh, write all the equations in simplified form right students so for E2 this angle is adjacent so it will be cos 45 and this angle is uh, opposite so it will be sine 45 we will get x component of E2 that will be 2 k q2 over a square cos 45 degrees and the y component will be 2 k q2 over a square sine 45 degrees hope you know how i simplified this equation uh, by just substituting the value of uh, r that was a radical 2 over 2 and then i just uh, did simple mathematics and converted into this form right the direction of both fields are in positive uh, uh, direction since this is also towards positive x-axis and this is towards positive y-axis so these two are positive now for the charged particle that is uh, q3 the magnitude of this charged particle q3 is positive which means that the direction of electric field will be away from it so my e3 will be uh, like this towards this side away from this charged particle e3 and if i split it into its components the first component will be this and the second component will be this and it's 45 so for adjacent we will use cos 45 and for opposite uh, we will use sine 45 so the x component of e3 will be 2 k q3 over a square cos 45 because it's adjacent and for this we will have y component 2 k q3 over a square sine 45 because it's opposite now for direction we can see that x component is towards uh, negative x axis and y component is towards positive so x this will be negative and this will be positive now for q4 charged particle q4 is negative means the direction of electric field will be towards it so e4 will be like this this is my e4 e4 is electric field produced by this charge q4 right students and if i split it into its components i can i will get one component like this and second component like this according to head to tail rule and this is 45 degrees angle so for adjacent we will use cos 45 and for uh, um, uh, opposite we will use sine 45 since x axis uh, sorry since x component is uh, adjacent so it will be 2 k q4 over a square cos 45 degrees and it will be y component is opposite so it will be 2 k q4 over a square sine 45 degrees now for directions we can see that x component is towards negative x axis and whereas the direction of y component is also downward so means both the components of e4 that is x and y components are negative now we have all the four uh, all the four uh, e1 e2 e3 and e4 all uh, fields so we simply have to uh, add up all x components and y components to get the total electric field produced by the charged particles at a square center to get the sum of all x components uh, what we can do is we can take 2k over a square cos 45 common from all these four and uh, add up remaining we will get an equation like this 2k a square cos 45 is common from all and this one is q1 plus q2 minus q3 minus q4 so when you will uh, substitute the values and uh, uh, find out the result you will get zero newton per coulomb means the electric field in x direction is zero now for the y component we can also do the same thing that is we can take common 2k a square sine 45 from all these four and add up the remaining so 
लेट्स राइट ई वाई यानी सम ऑफ ऑल वाई फोर्स वाई फोर्सेज आर टू के ओवर ए स्क्वायर साइन फोर्टी फाइव डिग्रीज एंड द रिमेनिंग आर क्यू वन नेगेटिव क्यू वन सॉरी फॉर दिस मिस्टेक नेगेटिव क्यू वन प्लस क्यू टू प्लस क्यू थ्री एंड देन ड्यू टू दिस साइन इट विल बी माइनस क्यू फोर दीज आर ओनली मैग्नीट्यूड्स राइट एंड वैन यू विल सब्सटीट्यूट द वैल्यूज डू नॉट फॉर गेट टू सब्सटीट्यूट दीज वैल्यूज इन स्टैंडर्ड यूनिट्स सो इट इज टू के इज कॉन्स्टेंट दैट इज एट पॉइंट नाइन नाइन एक्सपोनेंट नाइन ओवर ए स्क्वायर विच इज गिवेन टू अस फाइव सेंटीमीटर बट वी हैव टू सब्सटीट्यूट इट इन स्टैंडर्ड यूनिट सो इट विल बी फाइव एक्सपोनेंट माइनस टू टू कन्वर्ट इट इन टू मीटर्स देन साइन फोर्टी फाइव then q1 is given to us that is 10 nano coulomb so means 10 exponent minus 9 plus q2 is 20 nano coulomb so it's 20 exponent minus 9 plus q3 is 20 nano coulomb so it will be 20 exponent minus 9 we are minus 9 is because of this nano right and then uh minus q4 is 10 nano coulomb so it's 10 exponent minus 10 minus 9 sorry so when you will substitute this equation in your calculator you will get approximately 1.02 exponent 5 newton per coulomb uh which means that we have only a uh, y component and the direction of y component it's towards the right so this is the question for today's video hope you like the uh, solution and if you have any query you can ask me in the comment section plus don't forget to subscribe my channel